Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here to do your Capricorn reading for the week. Being a fellow Capricorn, <laughs> I think sometimes, no, actually, I have to say a lot of the time my Libra moon resonates with me more strongly than my Capricorn nature. I think I was more Capricorn when I was younger, but Capricorn by birth. So what's going on for Capricorns this week? Oh, cards are lively. Oh, we have the magician hopping out. How interesting. He just came up in the crystal ball reading. Okay. Manifestation. Um, oh, I'm using the um, Wild Unknown Tarot. <laughs> Thanks to my friend Denise. <laughs> All right. Let's see where we're going. Okay, death card coming through. Very, very much an energy that's coming through very, very strongly today for many of you. The death card talks of transformation. It talks about us allowing things to go, allowing them. And when I say allowing, this is not fighting something, knowing, feeling it, and knowing it's time to let something go. Now, sometimes we're unaware of things that we need to let go. They could be about our core beliefs. They could be about who we are. And sometimes those things are, are hidden quite deep within us. And when that happens, the universe sort of pushes us to, you know, go inside and really understand who we are and allow the new energies to come through. The death card talks about transformation, whether that's through your own doing or whether it's the universe stepping in and going, you know what, it's time. It's time. That's time to let go. It's time to allow us to bring in what needs to come in. Now we have the Son of Pentacles coming through here. So there's something here that you've been waiting for for a very long time, but perhaps you didn't realise it was waiting for you to transform in order to receive. So sometimes, sometimes I hear people say, you know, that they don't do any spiritual work and, and they don't know what to do. And when it comes to changing yourself and allowing yourself to change, very often it's just about being quiet for a while and allowing the universe to speak to you, not being so busy that the universe cannot talk to you. But it's also about us accepting it's about not controlling, trying to control something to come in, trying to control something to happen. It's about just allowing the universe to bring something to you. So whatever this is here has been coming for a long time. You've been waiting for something to happen, some sort of change, maybe a person, maybe a situation. But there's this energy here of waiting, of learning how to be patient. Okay, so we have the three of pentacles here. So for some of you, it's wanting to build something. It's wanting to create. And maybe you've been waiting for the right time, the right energy, the right resources. Whatever you've been waiting for here is coming. It is coming, but it's taken a long time because you've had to reach some sort of energy of being ready here before it could come in. It's definitely moving along here. Ah, oh, there we go, the magician, beautiful. All right, so what we have here is this change, this magician, this energy you've had within you has been in you the whole time, but you haven't recognised it. You haven't recognised your capacity to do, to manifest, to bring in what you want. It isn't about you doing that or bringing it in because it's been a really slow process. It was about you recognising here. So it's about you recognising you have this potential to create, to bring in this energy, to awaken this energy within you. And with the mountain, I really feel like it's an awakening. It's sort of like something felt insurmountable and now you're, you're like it's really... It wasn't a hard thing at all. It wasn't hard. I can hear you saying to me, Yvonne, it was just so much easier than what I thought. But I was so trapped in this idea, this core belief, this limitation that I couldn't make something happen. And yet, here it is now. And I was waiting for it to come to me when in reality it was already there. Okay. 
Okay, very nice. Very nice energy. All right. So we have here the tower. This is the realize, I want to cry. This is the realization here that something is here for you that you never saw. You never saw that it was already here because you were busy struggling about the what could be's, would be's. And yet this was already here for you. It was already in your destiny. It was part of who you were. It was meant to come in. You just had to realize that. So you were fighting for something that you didn't need to fight for. It was yours to begin with. And the tower is telling me here that you've had this realization now that everything was here to begin with. You don't have to fight for it. It's already yours. All right, let's see what's going on here. And I changed the angle of my camera and you just have to bear with me now because it's in a different position. So I have to change everything I'm doing too. Oh, how interesting. All right, so we have the Emperor coming through here. Both major arcanas on the table. For some of you, this is about a person. For others of you, this is your masculine energy. For both of these, I want to say there are trees. So I have this really strong energy here because this has the sun eclipsed. This has the thunder and lightning, but they're both trees. Somebody here has already been with you the whole time and you've doubted that. The, the, tr the tree represents like so many things. I think personally trees are one of my favourite things. I love trees. I think I might have been a tree nymph or a, or a tree spirit in a past life because they have such tremendous energy for me. I'll often stop in my car and just go and take photographs of trees. They talk to me. Um, but there's a really, really strong feeling here that something has been growing within you the whole time. You just haven't really seen it and now you're being awakened to it here. For some of you, this might be about your divine or divine masculine energy. And what I mean by that is maybe you've had a lot of feminine energy and you've been really sort of based in your feminine energy and unable to get some sort of balance here. But now you're finding your balance and I feel like it's bringing in an epiphany for you. Holy dooly. Okay, we have the star card coming through here. So I have thunder and lightning, an eclipse and then a star. Something powerful is happening in the universe at the moment. Something very, very powerful is happening here. Something that is bringing you and growing you into your destiny here. So it's very much allowing things to go, knowing that it's there already. You don't have to fight for it. You can let things go. Just allow the universe. It's moving you towards something here, something very powerful. Okay, so I have the two of wands coming through. This is something that's taking you and aligning you with your new path. This isn't part, it's not a new path as in another path. This is aligning you with what you need to be doing in your life or what you need to be being or where you need to be going. This is part of your path, but it's showing you the way now. It's opening up the way for you. Okay, so we have the three of wands following the two of wands, which gives us the ace of wands. Something's being offered to you here. Something's being offered to you to take you into the future. You're being given something here. The universe is giving you something. And all I can see is the stems of the trees in the wands. A lot of fire, a lot of passion, a lot of energy. Waiting for this eclipse to to move this cycle to finish this energy of finishing something off here because it's moving you here towards the future you can see your future more clearly here i have the mother of wands coming through so you're taking on an, this real all this is passion this is just full of passion this reading 
Um, <laughs> if Sarah's watching me, I want to say hold on to your knickers, Sarah. Um, but there's this really strong energy now of being sort of pulled towards your destiny. And I feel like a lot of you have either doubted, not had faith and trust, or not realised that your destiny is there, right there. It's always been right there. It's always been right in front of you. And you've been fighting for something that you really didn't need to fight for. All right, so we have the Nine of Swords coming through. So the anxiety is kicking in here a little bit because you're giving it up to the universe. But the High Priestess is here. Another major arcana asking you to bear witness. What does spirit mean about bearing witness? It's asking you to bear witness. Okay. So this is about us watching things unfold, about being an observer, watching things unfold for us here. Okay, so we have here the Six of Pentacles. Ah, okay, I get it now. Let me just put another card down. All right, Four of Wands. Okay, ah, oh, this is so beautiful. Look at this. Okay, this is what's happening at the moment. This is telling us here that the universe is co-creating with us now. We've aligned ourselves with the universe. It may seem very strange with this Nine of Swords energy because you're being asked to completely stand in your intuition here, really trusting and having faith that the universe is taking you in this new direction. It's about, I, I love both of these here because the, this here, the High Priestess has her crystal ball. And in this one we see the third eye chakra opening. Not all has been revealed yet. You're only seeing part of this, but it's enough to get you, it's enough to put you in that space of understanding what you are truly capable of here because you're watching your destiny unfold here. And it's got something to do with the divine masculine or something to do with a person or you bring yourself into balance with this divine masculine energy and opening up your third eye chakra. Wow. All right, let's just have another quick look and then I'll put an oracle card. You're going through a transformation here. The universe is opening your third eye for you. If it's already open, then you're being taken to the next level of vibration. You're being raised above things here. They're asking you to bear witness to it. Here we have something that's been moving very, very slowly because you've been thinking it was as big as a mountain when in reality you had everything there to begin with. The Five of Wands is here. So how many times have you questioned this? How many times have you asked yourself what this is? Where am I going? What am I doing? Instead of just trusting in who you were, trusting your energy here. You've been questioning and wanting and not having the patience that you required. But the patience wasn't really required. You just thought it was required because what you wanted was here all along. It's always been here. It's always been sitting with you. And now you're asking that the universe is asking you to bear witness to this because you're unfolding something that is purely amazing here. And as I said, for some of you, it is about someone coming into your life who's going to help you move to the next level or support you to move to the next level. For others of you, it's about bringing yourself in balance, bringing your masculine into balance with your feminine in order to bring in the new. But bear witness to it. Watch it unfold. <laughs> love it okay i have two cards here and i'm going to read both of them this one is the, your commitment is being tested but this one here i love a fiery climax approaches all right let's have a look so we have the full moon in uh, the first quarter moon here first quarter moon i open straight to the page too there could be some challenges coming your way, but they're just the universe's way of testing you. 
The first quarter moon calls, you for, calls for you to face any hurdles with confidence. What do you actually think is possible? If you can believe you can do it, then you probably can. If you spend your life affirming that something is too big for you to surmount, it probably is. That's why the mountain was there. See how it works. Do you believe your dreams will come true or have you secretly already given up? Showing some commitment now will help you move towards your desired outcome. What you believe to be true is true for you, so believe in yourself. The answer to your question is yes, but not yet. You're halfway to your goal. You still need to put in a bit more effort. Sometimes we just need to realise how much we want something. You need to recommit to someone or something. All right, and then we have the full moon card in Aries. Oh, I've just dragged straight to that too. That's pretty good. Making it easy for me, Spirit. A fiery climax approaches. It's time to see if you've been a little too much me, me, me. There's a tug of war going on between what you want and what someone else wants, but you have to wait a little while to see what's going to happen next. As you wait, ask yourself if you've been handling the situation as sensitively as you could have done. If you know deep down that you've been a little rash or a little harsh, gone too fast or overstepped the mark, then accept on some level you've created this situation yourself, which means you can create your way out of it too. When this card comes up, a peak is coming and it could be fiery. Beautiful. This is talking about don't be a baby. <laughs> I think it's about control. I think it's you've been trying to control something that was coming anyway. Does that seem really strange to you that I say to you it was already yours? It was already coming? And you've been fighting for something that was already yours. <laughs> Have a wonderful week.